take your mark. Fuzzy again, looking for four in a row over in lane number three on that final turn. And as they flip, that's really your only time to have a visual. Look at Tiltman with the underwater. That was one by her. Is not giving up on this. This is going to come down to that finish, the kick, and the dive back. with the lead, she'll like her split. Side by side with her is Gretchen Walsh over in lane number five. You mentioned Burkhoff's gonna come down to that trio, bro. It is, and this is the, the tempo, the stroke. I like where Burkhoff looks right now. Burkhoff ahead of Douglas. Here's the touch. Douglas with the stretch. So gets her title here at the ACC's. The Olympian does it in back-to-back -back years at 46-81. the outside. Keep an eye as well on lane number three for Matt King. Remember, he won the FCC's. Lane number four, there's the menu. Focus on Ramadan. It's going to come down to those two. And the touch in the middle lanes. Ramadan takes it! Two, three, and four UVA. We saw the 200 freestyle relay earlier where they followed the women and broke the American record. Walsh is very much like Lucy Douglas, how she swims with so much composure, so much confidence. Watch Hansen come up here on the very end. Is she going to make a late surge? But I think just not enough pull for her. It's going to be Alice Walsh to be thrown three-time ACC champ in this event. A meet, conference, and pool record. She's going to lead them. UVA is going to sweep the relays again. To watch Matthew King as a sophomore, the gut that it took and to watch that fight and to close that and get it that close, that's impressive. Congratulations to the Virginia Cavaliers who 3 at the ACC Championships on the women's side.